Welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a Gen X mom and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. And today we are watching Queen of Tears, season one, episode 15. So we are at the next to last episode. And um, I, <laughs> the last episode, I was so mad. I was so mad and upset because that damn bastard. <laughs> And <laughs> song like he I knew he was up to something and oh I I didn't even think about him framing Hyunwoo again for something right like it's obviously his mo right so he framed Hyunwoo for the murder of that uh, land broker guy right so he basically killed uh, two birds with one stone and is basically telling um, Hyun all these lies all these lies. And basically cut off his her family from Europe. Now, I don't know what he's going to do when he goes back to Korea with Haeyam. He asked the staff to remove all uh, record of Hyunwoo from the house, right? So if his plan is to take Haeyam back to the house, her family is living in another wing. Like, how exactly does he think that he's going to keep this up, right? Like, I don't understand his plan. I think it's a very flawed plan. Maybe I'm not thinking deviously enough. Who knows? I don't know how he's going to continue to isolate Hyun when he's back in Korea. And poor Hyunwoo. I know. I know his bestie, lawyer besties are going like flying to Germany right now to save his butt. I know it because they are loyal and true friends. And I am sure that uh, Hyun's parents will also uh, be there and supportive. And, you know, whatever uh, Hyunwoo needs, you know, obviously legally you know, fees or whatever they're going to cover, right? So I know, I know he's going to be exonerated because obviously he's been set up. But I'm afraid that any time that Hayen spends with Unsung, she's going to start trusting him more and more, and I just really don't want that to happen. And so I was just, oh man, last episode, like I'm crying, I'm yelling, like. If you didn't see the last reaction, the last episode, go and watch it before you watch this one. I was very pissed off. And if you didn't see the full unedited version, you can check that out on Patreon for free because I definitely was a lot angrier and I cried a lot more in the unedited version than I did on the edited version on YouTube. So just saying. Anyway, so anyway, I just we just have to get started on this episode because I have to know what's going to happen. And um, it better be a dang happy ending. So let's get started in three, two, one. What? No! No! He cannot have that book. No! He's going to destroy it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh, see? He's going to fucking destroy it. Oh! I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, and so I really do. I hope you die. 수술 직전에 의문의 사고가 있었어. 우리가 타고 다니던 렌트카가 트럭과 충돌하는 사고. 난 사고 배후에 백현우가 있다고 보고 있어. 다행히 우리들 다차 안에 없을 때라. 근데 난 네가 차 안에 있는 줄 알고 너 살리겠다고 유리 깨다가. 그때 넌 결혼한 상태였어서 내가 해줄 수 있는 게 없었는데 지금은 다르잖아. 이제 내가 너 지킬 거야. 무슨 짓을 했어도. Oh my God. Oh God! Oh. Hey, One month. Oh. 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 Oh, so this is how he did it. Okay, obviously I was not as devious as him. Yeah. You're not helping your case here. Yeah, man, all these past things are coming out, right? No, no, don't do it. Please talk to someone, anyone. Please talk to someone. If not your family, just talk to someone else. Please, 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 please. 
please say something to trigger her memory. Oh, it's gonna be killing you. Woman. 괜찮으니까 왔겠죠. 수술은 잘된 거지. 치료도 계속 하고 있고 어디 아픈데는 많이 걱정했어. 웃긴 해요. 내가 기억이 없다고 정말 아무것도 모르는 줄 아는 건데. 보고 싶었고. 나다 알고 왔어요. 그쪽이 뭘 목표로 나랑 결혼을 한 건지 어떻게 이혼 준비를 했는지 이혼에 나한테 무슨 짓들을 했는지 다 듣고 다 확인했다고요. 네가 유윤성한테 무슨 말을 들었는지 몰라도 그거 사실 아니야. 그냥 건강하게 건강하게만 건강하게 있어 좀. 어? No, all he cares about is her. Trust your gut, man. You know, hey, you know, hey, come on. Trust your gut. You're smart. Mm-hmm. That's right, you son of a bitch. Yes. Good job. Good job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. He's gonna get out. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. That's right. She's making notes on him. She is a stalker. <laughs> what is it with Tubu and getting out of prison? I don't understand. Somebody needs to explain that to me. Oh. oh, she's such a stalker! Oh my gosh! Oh, Unsung probably threatened her. She's basically telling you you're in love with Hyunu, okay? Your body's here, not with Unsung. You didn't want him anywhere near you. Is it still. Return the notebook to Hyunu! Please, 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 please! Or to, to, to Heian! Is this an anniversary or something? Since Thank you, yes. Mm. Yes. 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 He's so unstable right now. Get out of the room. He is so unstable right now. No scar, see? No scar. Please open it and read it. Please open it and read it. Please, 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 please. Hopefully it's still legible. Hopefully she can still read it. I mean, oh my God. No. <laughs> 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 Okay, 
울면 모성애를 자극하니까 웬만하면 울지 말고 소매 거두면 헉소리 나니까 전환근 단속 차라고 <웃음> So cover him up <웃음> 아직도 잘 모르겠으면 그냥 외워 그 남자는 내가 기억을 잃고 싶지 않았던 이유고 또 내가 기억을 잃더라도 결국엔 살고 싶었던 유일한 이유야 <웃음> 백현우는 마지막까지 내가 잊고 싶지 않은 이름이야 Yes! Go meet him! Go meet him! Go! 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 <웃음> 미안해 백현 <웃음> 너무 미안해 <웃음> It's not your fault, it's Unsung's fault! Just don't get into an accident! Okay? Please don't let Unsung run him over. Please don't... Like some... This is not episode 16. Something's gonna happen! Hey, where'd she go? What? What happened? What happened? See, I knew it! Oh my freaking god, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! The freaking, freaking, Unso! Oh my freaking god! 일단, 윤은성 씨는 간병에 굉장히 지극정성이었습니다. 모르는 사람이 얼핏 보면 천생연분 같았을 겁니다. 그렇지만 찐커플 간별사인 제노는 못 속이죠. 괜찮아, 내가 할게. 괜찮아, 내가 할게. See, her body knows. 괜찮아. 혼자 그럴 수 있어. 여자는 절대 자기가 좋아하는 남자에게 괜찮아. 나 혼자 할게. 이런 말을 하질 않아요. 어떻게든 엮어보려고 하죠. 기억은 없어도 심장은 아는 거지. 아, 이 남자 안 끌린다. 음흠. 일명 외통수 사랑을 하고 있다. 이것이 저의 결론입니다. 다만 이 외통수가 자신의 현실을 깨달으면 굉장히 삐뚤어질 수 있거든요. You think? 조심해야죠. Yeah. Oh, shit. 모두에게 나쁜 위험한 선택을 할 수도 있으니까요. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I knew something was going to happen because, you know, it's it's not the final episode, so I know they're not going to get together in this episode. I knew there was something else, and damn it, the minute Unsung, I knew Unsung found out, I knew he was going to try to stop them. I I kind of predicted that he was going to run over Hyunwoo. I don't know where Hyun went. Like, where the heck did she go? I am so confused by that. Like, she just disappeared. Like, like it's not even like it's a bus stop and she got on the bus. Like, she disappeared. I don't understand that. They're going to have to show that next time. Like, what happened? I, I don't know. Um, obviously, I mean, not obviously, but it seems like now Hayen, obviously, she understands that she wrote this notebook to herself, right? I don't think she recovered her memories, though, unfortunately. I think... What she's realizing is, is that obviously Hyunwoo, everything Hyunwoo said, right? And Hyunwoo, um, what her body was telling her, what her heart was telling her was that Hyunwoo is the man that she loves and that everything that Eunsung said was a lie. I mean, she definitely confirmed that with the, the all the cameras that he put in and, and like, you know, all that stuff, right? Um, so definitely don't trust him anymore as well as he doesn't have a scar on his wrist so he obviously lied about punching a window and obviously Hyunwoo was the one that punched the window. So she's smart. She put all connected all those dots, right? So I, again, like, uh, painful, frustrating episode because like, like Eunsung really prepped her really well. He sprinkled enough truth in there to so that she could confirm it and and other people corroborate it co co corroborate it and basically um enough truth sprinkled into the lie so that she believed it right and that's what all good liars do right good liars will follow the truth as much as possible and then just tweak it and and lie and add lies around it right because there's always that layer of truth to make it believable and that's exactly what he did. And he had a whole month to prep her. Whole month. But even then, we could see in the epilogue, she was not attracted to him. She didn't let him help her with anything. Like, her heart, her body knew, right? But he was the only one there. So obviously, he fed her all the lies, right?
And, you know, everything she said at the airport about the family was true, right? And then even about Hyunwoo and the divorce. So how can you refute that? Definitely. But I love what Hyunwoo said. Hyunwoo said, you don't have to believe me, but doubt everything. Doubt. Like, don't take Eunsung's word for it. Doubt everything. And I think that was so smart of him not to try to push his agenda and try to try to convince her because that would just kind of putting pressure on her. But like to really just have her because she's a smart woman, have her say doubt everything. Let her figure it out. She can do it. Like, I love that Hyunwoo said that. And that that shows me more that he has faith in her and faith that she will figure it out eventually, that Eunsung is lying and who he is, right? Then him trying to convince her of the truth and da-da-da-da, whatever, right? And so, because that can come off as a little stalkery too, but even so, like, he didn't push, right? So, you know, Hyunwoo is like the greenest green flag, okay? <laughs> so... Um, I will say though, if you're getting hit by a car at pretty high speeds like that, it looks like he went from zero, let's say that's like a, I don't know how many feet, but he was pretty close to that, that intersection, right? He was gunning it. He was headed straight for Hyunwoo. And if he hit him straight on, like it looks like he did, I don't think Hyunwoo would survive. So I guess there's a little plot armor going on here, I guess you could say, right? Um, because I don't think that they would kill off Hyunwoo right when they're about to be, have a reunion with Hayan, right? Uh, so again, going into the next episode, I expect an explanation of where Hayan went. I'm assuming that Hyunwoo is okay, gravely injured, but okay. Um, I'm expecting that Eunsung is going to get kicked out as chairman, uh, that... The mother-in-law, the girl, his mother is going to be chairwoman, tried to, but I think maybe in a twist, maybe the older brother is going to be the chairman because he's been gathering stocks too, I think. Um, Maybe he'll be chairman and uh, that will close off that loop, right, of that kind of family estrangement. And hopefully Hayan will, I don't know where she went, but she'll come back and she'll be by Hyunwoo's side and maybe like <clears throat> she'll get her some of her memory back. I don't, I don't know. So that's what I'm hoping to see in the next episode. I want to see Eunsung in jail. I want to see his mother in jail. Um, I don't mind if Eunsung dies. We can do that too. Um, and I just want a happy ending for my couple. I want, to have, I want them to have two kids, a boy and a girl, to live a happy long life, okay? So this is my expectation, all right, going in to episode 16. So anyways, I will see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.